Thank you. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. <laughs> Federal officials have charged two men for allegedly killing more than 3,000 protected birds, including bald eagles. But on the other hand, best weekend of our lives. <laughs> Speaker Mike Johnson said that he is blurring the faces on the footage of January 6th rioters so that none of them would be charged with a crime. So unfortunately, we'll never know who they are. <laughs> well, after weeks of struggling to elect a new Speaker of the House, Republicans gave up and just generated one with AI. <laughs> There's no way Mike Johnson is a real person. He's supposed to be a conservative Republican, yet he looks like every MSNBC host combined. Yesterday, Mike Johnson, whose position as House Speaker is in jeopardy, traveled to Mar-a-Lago for a meeting with Donald Trump. And boy, is his jaw tired. <laughs> That eventually got applauded. <laughs> I feel like the way Mike Johnson got elected is that after weeks of voting, Republicans got bored and they all wrote in the same fake name. And then they were like, wait, that's a real guy? <laughs> On Monday, Donald Trump testified under oath in his civil fraud trial. Though technically he was never sworn in because the Bibles kept bursting in the flames. <laughs> Joe Biden is not in the race anymore. Let's focus on your current opponent. Barack Hussein Obama. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. After Trump was photographed with some strange red marks on his hand, some dermatologists speculated it could be something called hand herpes. <laughs> what the hell is hand herpes, said Tim Scott. <laughs> Speaker Mike Johnson has also been called homophobic for supporting anti-LGBTQ legislation and saying homosexuality is bizarre and deviant, which are two fantastic gay clubs on the West Side, by the way. There is actually an error in the LA Times obituary for O.J. Simpson in the section about his prison time. Instead of writing, O.J. walked out of the Love Law Correctional Center, they wrote, Trump walked out of the Love Law Correctional Center, a free man for the first time in nine years. And it's not a great sign for Trump that even autocorrect thinks he belongs in jail. <laughs> A new poll shows President Biden and Donald Trump are tied in a hypothetical 2024 rematch, though they're both running 50 points behind Kill Me. <laughs> <laughs> After new polls show Donald Trump leading Joe Biden, Democratic strategists are calling Biden's re-election campaign a five-alarm fire, which is scary for Biden, because in a fire, you have to use the stairs. <laughs> Jay Simpson died this week at the age of 76 after a battle with prostate cancer that was planted on him by the LAPD. <laughs> after a judge issued a gag order against President Trump, Trump told reporters that the judge said, basically, I don't have the right to speak. <laughs> then he added, she's like literally killing me. <laughs> then he yelled, you're not even my real mom and slammed his bedroom door. <laughs> Donald Trump said at a rally that he would make November 5th Christian Visibility Day. Wait, I thought that was called Ash Wednesday. <laughs> the Florida Supreme Court has allowed the state's six-week abortion ban to take effect. So now Florida's only remaining method for ending a pregnancy is roller coasters. It, it happened. And yesterday on Truth, on Truth Social, Trump posted a courtroom sketch of him sitting next to Jesus. Because if there's one guy whose trial famously ended well, it's Jesus. 
crushing it. She's up in the polls. She's raising tons of money. She collected the white man infinity stone. <laughs> it all poses a big problem for Donald Trump, who's been trying everything he can think of to stop her ascent. He's been insulting her race, insulting her race even more. Oh, um, <laughs> insulting her gender, even more race stuff, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but somehow it's not working. So his allies have some radical proposals for him. <laughs> That was, that was my best joke, yeah. Colin. <laughs> Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene said next week she will force a vote to oust House Speaker Mike Johnson. And if there's one thing I bet she's amazing at, it's driving men away. <laughs> <laughs> Just today, Donald Trump posted on Truth Social that he wasn't scared of going to jail for violating a gag order, saying, I will gladly become a modern-day Nelson Mandela. <laughs> Unfortunately for Halloween. <laughs> In a new interview, Billy D. Williams says that actors should be allowed to do blackface, adding, if you're an actor, you should do anything you want to do. Exactly, said Kevin Spacey. <laughs> More than 5,000 people attended a Democratic fundraiser at Radio City Music Hall featuring big-name celebrities like Barack Obama, Stephen Colbert, and Lizzo, as well as lesser-known celebrities like President Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> This week, Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed after it was struck by a cargo ship that was carrying, you won't believe it, Boeing airplanes. <laughs> Pope Francis criticized laws banning homosexuality as unjust, saying that it's not a crime, even though Catholic doctrine views homosexuality as a sin. He also stressed that Catholic doctrine views age as nothing but a number. <laughs> Republicans have introduced a bill to rename Washington, D.C.'s Dulles Airport after Donald Trump. Because airports are a lot like Trump. A chaotic nightmare that turns you against your own family. <laughs> New York City officials are considering controlling the city's growing rat population by using birth control pellets, which will also finally let female rats focus on their careers. <laughs> Former president and current reverse mortgage applicant, Donald Trump, <laughs> criticized Biden's speech, saying the words are not flowing smoothly out of his mouth. Well, we can't all speak with the same effortless grace as Donald J. Trump. Just recently heard that Saudi Arabia and Russia will be Duke. <laughs> oh, it sounds like someone just inserted a colonoscopy camera. Rot. <laughs> Ronald McDaniel was re-elected as chair of the Republican National Committee in a closer than expected vote over challengers Harmet Dillon, MyPillow CEO Mike Lindell, Twitter user Cat Turd 2, <laughs> Kevin Sorbo, Kyle Rittenhouse, and of course, Colin Jones. <laughs> Congratulations, Colin. Yeah, thank you. That election, that election was rigged. <laughs> Donald Trump posted an image of Nikki Haley made up to look like Hillary Clinton. And honestly, I couldn't tell if it was bad Photoshop or a good picture of Mark Cuban in a wig. <laughs> Pope Francis called for a ban on surrogate motherhood, which he says violates the dignity of the woman and the child. Plus, the Catholic Church doesn't want extra kids around while they're trying to quit. <laughs> You win. Just talk about whatever the f*** you want to talk about. And now they're putting her on the covers of Time magazine with an artist sketch. They don't use a picture. They use an artist sketch. I want to use that artist. I want to find that artist. I like him very much. Donald, do you really need a new sketch artist? I feel like you have plenty of sketches. <laughs> In a video on Truth Social, Donald Trump falsely said that Democrats support abortion up to the ninth month and beyond, saying the baby is executed after birth. But he only thinks that happens because when Trump was a baby, a bunch of time travelers showed up trying to kill him. Donald Trump said the results of the 2020 election should be overturned and called for the termination of the Constitution. Trump plans to terminate the Constitution by asking Herschel Walker to drive it to the clinic. 
Speaker of the House, Kevin McCarthy, seen here wanting to know if you or someone you love has been injured in a car accident. <laughs> Met in person with President Biden about the debt ceiling and said they had a good conversation. It went so well, Biden let him pick a couple classified documents out of the bowl. <laughs> I hate to nitpick, but in this speech about the economy, do you think at any point you might want to say something about the economy? I did have something I would show you. Wait a minute. I don't know if you've seen this. I used it once. Oh, I have it. I do have it. Look at this. Look at this. So this is Tic Tacs, right? Yes. I mean, they came out of your pocket, so they might be roofies, but... President Biden met with Japan's prime minister where they discussed building a new bullet train system in America using advanced Japanese technology. In return, Japan requested the advanced American technology of forks. (laughs) (laughs) The CEO of Boeing announced that he's stepping down in the wake of the company's ongoing safety issues. And on his way out, he held up a bunch of nuts and bolts and said, good luck figuring out where these were supposed to go. NBC News cut ties with Ronna McDaniel after many network hosts protested her hiring. And I'm actually... Masters in the Arizona Senate race. Masters can now return to his true passion of, I'm going to guess, strangling hitchhikers? (laughs) Donald Trump visited East Palestine, the site of the recent train derailment, because Trump usually tries to make himself look better by standing next to a train wreck. The train that derailed was carrying highly toxic vinyl chloride, which I think is something Trump recommended as a cure for COVID. (laughs) After this year's elections, a record-setting 12 states will have female governors. (laughs) While while the other 38 states will have dinner ready on time. While visiting the disaster site, Trump also gave out bottles of Trump brand water. Said residents, thanks, but we'd rather drink the toxic train water. (laughs) I just love that Trump is the one who rolled back train safety standards when he was president, and now he's giving the victims bottles of water. What's next? Is he going to visit all the migrant kids he put in cages and give them a gift card to David Buster's? A 25-year-old from Florida will become the first Gen Z member of Congress. Younger, said Matt Gates. <laughs> Donald Trump said at a rally that he would make November 5th Christian Visibility Day. Wait, I thought that was called Ash Wednesday. The Florida Supreme Court has allowed the state's six-week abortion ban to take effect. So now Florida's only remaining method for ending a pregnancy is roller coasters. <laughs> Rupert Murdoch this week officially turned on Donald Trump. First, the New York Post ran a cover calling Ron DeSantis Ron De Future, even though Ron De Future sounds more like a drag queen from outer space. <laughs> Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg visited the site of the train derailment and was criticized for wearing leather dress boots. Ah, But give him a break. That's all they had at Baby Gap. (laughs) Florida governor and Dallas Cowboys cheerleader Ron DeSantis... explained why so many residents failed to evacuate, saying some people just don't want to leave their homes, which is why sometimes you have to trick them onto a plane to Martha's Vineyard. (laughs) Georgia representative and cocaine bear Marjorie Taylor Greene (laughs) tweeted the country needs a national divorce, which makes sense because she is the most divorced looking woman I have ever seen. (laughs) Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is releasing a new memoir called The Courage to Be Free, even though The Courage to Be Free sounds like a black history book he's banned. (laughs) Then on Thursday, the Post showed Donald Trump as an egg sitting on a wall with the headline Trumpty Dumpty, which had to be the easiest Photoshop job in history. (laughs) 
And now Trump is threatening to reveal unflattering information about Ron DeSantis. For example, did you know Ron DeSantis is in charge of a state where some maniac was hiding stolen nuclear secrets? <laughs> It was announced that Brittany Griner has signed with the Phoenix Mercury for one year. Unfortunately, the WNBA pays less than a Russian prison. <laughs> You're not going to like this next one. A four-foot-long alligator was discovered in Brooklyn's Prospect Park. So you can probably take down all those missing dog posters. <laughs> A 10-year-old boy in Florida faces misdemeanor battery charges after he allegedly touched a teacher's breast because under Florida law, students are required to wait for their teacher to make the first move. <laughs> well, tonight is our uh, season finale, yeah. and uh, we have a tradition where Che and I give us each other jokes to read. Yeah, we're making each other read jokes live on air that the other person has never seen before. That's right. And the... Uh, Let's not applaud. Let's not applaud yet. The idea, the idea is, of course, to give each other fun jokes, uh, almost supportive jokes that would never ruin our summer or our career. Yeah, but b before we start, last time we did this, I hired an actress to pretend to be a civil rights hero, <laughs> and that was low. So to make it up to you this time, I invited an actual practicing rabbi. <laughs> Please welcome Rabbi Jill. Go ahead, Colin. Why don't, oh. you, why don't you tell the first joke? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just as excited as all of you. Pro <laughs> Pro Palestinian protesters walked out of Jerry Seinfeld's <laughs> commencement address at Duke University, and I think that's disgraceful. During these difficult times, it's important to support our Jewish friends. That's why the only chant you'll hear from me is free Weinstein. <laughs> Keep fighting, Harvey. Am I right, Bubba? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you did that good. I wouldn't have said that. <laughs> Pope Francis said this week that sexual pleasure is a gift from God. Unfortunately, it was in response to the question, should the church still have altar boys? <laughs> Speaking of kids, wait, <laughs> new data shows that middle school students have only made up a third of the math skills they lost during the pandemic. Their math was so bad they didn't get it when I texted them, you plus me equals 69. <laughs> Come. Wow. wow. Okay. Hey, you put it in text. <laughs> Chat. Oh, God. <laughs> ChatGPT has released a new voice assistant feature inspired by Scarlett Johansson's AI character in her, which I've never bothered to watch because without that body, what's the point of listening? <laughs> so, you got a little more there. So, so Rabbi Jill, if you're here. Who's controlling the weather? <laughs> I don't even get that joke, Colin. Yeah. <laughs> Multiple women have posted videos on TikTok claiming that while walking the streets of New York, they were randomly punched by men. Well then, damn, get the hell out of my way, bitch. <laughs> And speaking of bitches, I want to call out the biggest bitch of all, Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> or should I say littlest? <laughs> oh, your war with Drake may be over, but your war with Michael Che is just beginning. 
So to quote Hamilton, <laughs> shoot your shot, player. Oh, that was pretty well done, man. That was pretty well done. Okay. Oh, I don't like that one bit. Mm. Uh, well, this next joke might be a little too offensive for me to say. So, Rabbi Jill, will you be a mensch and help me out? How? Uh, would you hand me that puppet? <laughs> Use the puppet. <laughs> oh my god. It was it was it was reported that Comcast, the owners of NBC, told MSNBC to curb their criticism of Israel. And, and if they don't, we'll hit them with our space lasers. <laughs> Mitch McConnell seen here catching up on news from the Middle East <laughs> announced that he will <laughs> announced that he will step down as the Republican leader in the Senate. McConnell has been leader for almost 20 years, but he first got involved in politics back in 1968 when he lost a fiddle contest to the devil. <laughs> In a video on Truth Social, Donald Trump falsely said that Democrats support abortion up to the ninth month and beyond, saying the baby is executed after birth. But he only thinks that happens because when Trump was a baby, a bunch of time travelers showed up trying to kill him. Many are saying he is leaving because of his bad relationship with Donald Trump, but come on, just because you hate somebody doesn't mean you can't still have a very successful working relationship with them. I almost feel like that was about me. <laughs> Biden announced that he's raising tariffs on Chinese electric cars to 100%. Unfortunately, Chinese electric cars is just what Biden calls Mario Kart. <laughs> Senator Mitch McConnell seen here being told a black woman made a country album. <laughs> has, <laughs> has come out in favor of a bill that would potentially ban TikTok in the U.S. Of course, for McConnell, TikTok is just what the Grim Reaper says while tapping his watch. A growing number of black men feel like the Trump and Biden campaigns are not actually trying to forge true relationships and just want their votes. Yeah. During a new interview with ABC News, Steve Bannon called himself the voice of MAGA and also the face of gout. After Trump was photographed with some strange red marks on his hand, some dermatologists speculated it could be something called hand herpes. <laughs> what the hell is hand herpes, said Tim Scott. <laughs> Speaker Mike Johnson has also been called homophobic for supporting anti-LGBTQ legislation and saying homosexuality is bizarre and deviant, which are two fantastic gay clubs on the west side. But. <laughs> A new, <laughs> a new report from the White House claims that President Biden's billions of dollars of student loan relief will disproportionately help Latinos, which has earned Biden the nickname El Papa de Shuga. A woman revealed that she accidentally ordered a cocktail that cost $2,000. Ingredients of the $2,000 drink included gin, vermouth, and a MacBook Pro. <laughs> See, that was a sweet one. Disneyland has announced that it's permanently closing its attraction, Beast's Library, and replacing it with, well, this is weird, Gaston's Gay Gym. <laughs> Mitch McConnell, seen here walking out of a theater after watching 12 Years a Slave, <laughs> announced, announced he will step down in November. He'll be replaced by the current number two Republican in the Senate, a frozen embryo holding an assault rifle. <laughs> Mitch McConnell, seen here after rearranging a blind woman's furniture. A new report shows that the gender death gap is rising with men dying an average of six years before women, which is, yeah. It's, 
It's actually scientific proof that men are actually dying a little every time we have to listen to your boring ass stories. <laughs> A moving speech on the Senate floor announcing his retirement, which honestly made me start to admire Mitch McConnell. Seen here watching a single mother sell her blood for diaper money. <laughs> Just today, Donald Trump posted on Truth Social that he wasn't scared of going to jail for violating a gag order, saying, I will gladly become a modern day Nelson Mandela. Unfortunately, for Halloween. In an interview, Senator Mitt Romney said that he will not vote for Donald Trump over Joe Biden. Now, some of you may remember Mitt Romney. <laughs> this week, Donald Trump said that he supports abortion laws being decided by the states instead of the federal government. But why stop there? Why not go even smaller and leave it up to the counties or the city or even better, take the government out of it completely and leave it the choice about what women can do with their bodies to the person who knows what they can do with them the best, their husbands. <laughs> A new study claims Fremont, California is the happiest city in America, while the saddest city in America is once again Puppy Grave, Indiana. <laughs> Which, incidentally, is the favorite vacation spot of Mitch McConnell. A new poll shows President Biden and Donald Trump are tied in a hypothetical 2024 rematch, though they're both running 50 points behind Kill Me! <laughs> <laughs> After new polls show Donald Trump leading Joe Biden, Democratic strategists are calling Biden's re-election campaign a five-alarm fire, which is scary for Biden because in a fire, you have to use the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Worker on a, <laughs> a worker on a cruise ship heading to Alaska was arrested for attacking three passengers with scissors. He was eventually subdued by a passenger with rock. <laughs> a dog was rescued after it fell off a 50-foot cliff into a quarry. Next time, said Christy Nome. <laughs> Hurricane Ian hit Florida this week, and Governor Ron DeSantis called it a 500-year flooding event. In fact, it's such a historic tragedy that DeSantis won't let them teach about it in Florida schools. <laughs> Raphael Warnock defeated Herschel Walker in Georgia's Senate runoff race. You know, but I don't think this is the last you'll hear from Herschel Walker. I mean, unless he's your biological father. <laughs> With Raphael Warnock's win, Democrats in the Senate will no longer have to rely on Vice President Harris for tie-breaking votes. Harris can now focus on her main priority, waiting for a worse bike accident. <laughs> at, a, at a White House event, President Biden asked if Representative Jackie Walorski was in the audience, asking, where's Jackie? Apparently forgetting she died last month. <laughs> worse, worse, he keeps forgetting that this woman is still alive. <laughs> The Electoral Count Reform Act was approved by all members of a Senate committee, except for Ted Cruz. Coincidentally, everyone except for Ted Cruz is also who Jesus loves. <laughs> the Supreme Court heard a case this week over whether a conservative evangelical woman can refuse to design a website for a same-sex marriage. But honey, I don't know any gay couple who's going to hire a designer with those highlights. <laughs> Jenny Thomas, who's begging you to notice the scarf. <laughs> so, so she can say, oh, this old thing? <laughs> Reportedly told the committee that her husband was unaware of her involvement in challenges to the 2020 election, and they never discuss any case before the court. And if there's one thing I believe, is that this guy doesn't talk to his wife. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I, 
I, I apologize. <laughs> during, during oral arguments in the case, Justice Samuel Alito raised the hypothetical, could a black department store Santa be forced to take a picture with a child dressed in a Klan robe? Alito added that he'd love an answer before he takes his grandkids to the mall next week. <laughs> Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene revealed that her husband has filed for divorce after 27 years of marriage. He officially blamed irreconcilable differences for the split, while she blamed the Jews. <laughs> Pre President Biden on Friday attended a formal ceremony welcoming Justice Ketanji Brown Jackson to the Supreme Court. Said Biden, and where's Justice Ginsburg? Ruth, come on up here. <laughs> Donald Trump said the results of the 2020 election should be overturned and called for the termination of the Constitution. Trump plans to terminate the Constitution by asking Herschel Walker to drive it to the clinic. <laughs> British officials have unveiled King Charles III's new royal monogram. The C stands for Charles, the R is for Rex, and the three is for how many hundreds of yards Prince Andrew has to stay away from schools. <laughs> You guys saw today Morocco beat Portugal in the court. Lọt khó, lọt khó. Thì ra đó là cái bẫy. Ổ khoan. Ổ cái chỗ hồi nãy đâu ta? Không lấy chơi game mà còn người dẫn đường. Có hơi kỳ quá. Đó, tới rồi, tới rồi, tới rồi. Hello các anh em giao lưu giao lưu nha Giao lưu trước nha Nhẹ thôi nhẹ thôi giao lưu chưa 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 Ủa là chết queo hả Là chết queo thiệt á hả Không sao Không sao Không sao Chết queo nãy giờ có lần một gì ha Bây giờ mình level 64 phải không? Hồi nãy level mấy ta? Sao mà nó đánh mình nhanh vậy? Ví dụ game cho cái xe máy hay cái xe hơi gì chạy được không? Ấy tiền tiền lấy tiền cái rồi đi tiếp Lỡ nhận nhiệm vụ rồi Ủa? Ê chưa nhận nhiệm vụ nhiệm vụ đâu để đi lại cái ông kia cái đây 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 ủa ông sao mất tiêu cái nhiệm vụ rồi quan 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 Mình phải level tới 75 mới được đánh mấy thằng kia Nãy giờ không coi Vậy đánh tiếp mấy thằng bên đây đi Rồi hình dáng đâu rồi Chị sẽ đi kiếm em Ờ à, đây 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 Ông mình cứ nằm đánh đại đi không sao đâu U, <cười> Trồng chuối luôn rồi Mình đánh nó trồng chuối luôn rồi kìa Rồi Ủa? Chi chết à Để cho ăn trái quỷ trước khi chết nha Ăn quỷ cuối cùng Đó 